Hello everyone, welcome back to RC Robotics, my name is Carl, and in today's video we are looking at the Black Hornet Mark VI. So if you've been keeping up to date with the channel, you know my first original Mark, Mark I, was made out of a Pico Z, and that was very, very small, wasn't too powerful, and barely even lifted the camera that's not even powered inside it. Well, this one's a lot more powerful, it's got a fly ballless system, and it's got a working VTX inside. So I'm going to show you a little bit of build footage, and then we're just going to go straight in into seeing the kind of performance that this thing gives out, it's flight time, and uh, what kind of picture you get from the uh, VTX. Guys, this genuinely is the maiden flight. I haven't flown it yet um, since you know shedding all the weight. One of the main things I've done also is I've made a battery hatch because getting the uh, battery, the old battery, to connect was really really hard. So I've gone and made a little hatch. That flies a lot better, a lot, lot more, a lot less weight. I'm only at about half throttle now. Last time I was almost full throttle. Let's see what kind of flight time we can get out of it. Now the VTX isn't plugged in at the moment, but the VTX does run on its own uh, individual battery, so that won't do anything for the flight time. Well, the battery for the VTX is in there, the camera's in there, and the VTX itself. And we're hovering at about half throttle, quite nice and comfortably. So it, was, it wasn't the VTX that was causing the weight issues, it wasn't the camera. It was purely the foam I'd used and hot glue. So we've changed that recipe for, instead of the heavy black foam I was using, I've gone for this food tray, Defron, and Salatate. And I've completely uh, abandoned trying to make it look like a normal black hornet, you know, completely abandoned the aesthetics um, and just gone for the as minimal amount of material that I need to make a camera on the front of a helicopter UAV. And this is the result, look at that, it's still going. I don't know, I'm not counting how long we're going, I'm sure we can see once I check the footage after, but it's still going, I'm still at half throttle. This is brilliant, this is fantastic. Sorry, Lister, I know you don't like the helicopters. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. This is like a year and a half in the making. A year and a half of me testing and building. And we're finally here with a helicopter that's hovering for... We've been going for well over 40 seconds now, well over a minute, I suppose, nearly. I'm still at half throttle. Just picking up the revs now to keep it in the air. But this is, this is why, you know, this is what the Black Hornet was for. It's If you're in a, a sticky situation, you don't know where the enemy is or you don't know where your teammates are, um, send this thing over a wall and, yeah, you can check where, you know, where people are, fly back to yourself in under a minute and then you know where, you know, either hostiles or allies are. Fantastic. Still extremely stable, that fly baller system is working brilliantly. I can't wait to see the video footage when we uh, get the VTX working. It's still going. This is looking like a two minute flight time. 
<laughs> Look at it, it's still going. I'm going to land it now. Because that, the amount of flight time that it was in the air then was a perfect amount of time for, you know, a kind of Black Hornet mission where you'd need to send this thing over somewhere where you can't see, see what you need to see, and then bring it back to yourself. Um, the real Black Hornet actually does fly for, I think it's 29 minutes, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous um, amount of flight time. But I think I know why it flies for that long, because it's, uh, if you look at pictures of it, it obviously looks like it's made completely out of carbon fiber um, and some composite materials. It also looks like its motor runs on a direct drive, uh, and it also probably got it's also probably got brushless motors inside of it. It definitely has got brushless motors inside of it, and lithium ion. We're using lithium polymer, so this is great for your burst and your amps. Um, but for duration, it isn't that great. Lithium polymer, lithium ion works great. Lithium ion, the kind of batteries that you'll find in your laptop. So uh, that's a fantastic first flight. I'm extremely happy with how that turned out. Uh, I think we need to charge this battery up, get the VTX plugged in, and then we need to do a, a full-on outside outdoor test, and uh, yeah, see what it flies like outside. Oops. All right. Oh no. Oh. on the leg. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Don't fall. <laughs> Careful. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you started, okay? The wind started picking up. Oh. This opening here hasn't helped because all the wind's probably funneling through this opening. <laughs> and it's tried to drag it over into that next field, which is very bad. So, first out flat. <laughs> so first outside test didn't go too great uh we have got around about i don't know six seven mile an hour winds today not great for something this big but you know for indoors might be a great little uh <sighs> the things i do for a youtube channel <laughs> unhook that did you get the crash footage onboard crash footage Yes. Were you filming me or were you filming I was me? filming in the. I was yeah. I was filming be in the. To see what happens yeah. then. Okay. I think uh, we should go back inside and we'll try some VTX. Uh, we'll yeah. We'll try the camera in, indoors where it's a bit warmer and there's no you know winds and trees that can eat your helicopter. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> fantastic. We have got video. We've got video and uh, yeah, we got flight time. So great. Nice and stable. Flies forward really nice and smooth. Oh my God. That is the onboard in, in footage.
I had a look at the footage before, um, and the time was, it was 2 minutes and 54 seconds that we flew for. So, you know, that's 6 seconds less than 3 minutes, so almost a 3 minute flight time. And I landed before the battery, the uh, over voltage actually took control over the power, but I could feel the power dip in, so I, uh, I managed to land the helicopter before the voltage thing came on. There you go. Oh, look at Danny's bayonet sculpture. Today you have it guys, the Black Hornet Mark VI. Thank you very much for joining us here at Art in Robotics. If you do like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is just up there in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, I'll pop one down here and another just down here. Thank you very much for joining us today, guys, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.